Epic 42. This is fight number four. And to my left, I have Shane Crutchin, Bellator fighter, 14-year veteran in the MMA game, USMC veteran, just like me, except you got the Purple Heart, man. They didn't get me. They didn't get me. I got an enemy marksmanship award, bro. <laughs> Let's be real. I just couldn't move fast enough. I don't know if it was because I was a grunt or I was just too retarded. I ate too many crayons that day. It kind of weighed me That's down. That's what it is, all the crayons. Oh, 100%. The crayons. They're the crayons. Well, the new crayons that they created in my time in the Marine Corps, they were they, they didn't have as many toxins. They were gluten-free. Yeah, yeah, gluten-free crayons. No carcinogens. <laughs> oh, man, this guy, dude, this guy is... Curtis Park. Oh, no, no, no that's John. Josh. Josh. Josh Travaglio. I just had my nipple played with at the, um, I don't know who just grabbed my nipple. <laughs> uh, that was weird. Anyways, uh, Josh came out with some creative, very creative uh, weigh-in gear. Hold on. We're getting yelled at for uh, really bad commentating. Yeah, I know, I know. Jeez it's Louise. Right. So go ahead. So anyways, Josh Josh came out with some really, really creative. Man, I actually respect his uh, weigh-in gear game. Why? What happened? Man, I'm a... Oh, I saw that. Dude, I'm like, a... Oh, man. As like you a know, leopard speedo? If you've, if you've seen any of my weigh-ins for World Series of Fighting, PFL, Bellator, I am a <laughs> concierge, a consoeur, if you will, <laughs> of creative underwear for every single weigh-in. I change it up. And this guy came out in leopard print with matching socks. Look at that. Dude, you, you sir, hats off for that. Now, Leonard, on the other hand, man, now I, I really like this fight. You and I know Leonard personally. For years. Oh, man. We I, watched this kid grow up. Yeah, you know, it's crazy because... You know, I, I, I haven't been training as much anymore with everything that happened in my 100%. life. But when I was there, uh, the cage, yeah, he's announcing him real quick. Yep. We'll Planet San Diego. Give it up for Leonard Lionheart. Oh, I'm going to get yelled at. Leonard. Me. I got to clap for this one. Lionheart. So let me tell you about this guy, Leonard since I started training MMA with 10th Planet and San Diego Combat Academy, Manolo Hernandez, Leonard has been training. This is his first fight, right? Is this not his first fight here? Yeah, first fight here. First fight here, he's one in one, but Leonard is a monster. Been training for years. And um, I'm just interested to see I'll, what's I'll be honest. happen here. Leonard used to be one of my main training partners, <laughs> uh, which is the weirdest thing to say as a one-on-one amateur being a training partner. But, man, you want to talk about a guy that's not scared to stand, not scared to stand right in front of you and exchange punches with you, punch for punch, no matter if he's winning or losing. Very here technical, he is. very skilled, here and he hungry. Is. His fight name says it for the lion says itself. The Lionheart. 100%. Heart. 100%. And we were talking about that earlier, how, you know, the amateur fighters in, in, in today's sport yep. are, are just as good as the pros. It's so crazy, but it's because their training partners – are the pros. <laughs> they the are. The pros use the amateurs <laughs> yeah. to get ready. We use these guys because, you know, it's, uh, you know to be honest, it, it's it's a guy that's willing to stand and willing to give you the training that's needed to, to get you in those fights. A lot of pros, they'll come if you pay them. Right, they'll, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? These guys want to be where you're at, so they'll, they're will they willing to throw down with you. They're willing to stand, and, and they want to learn. So it's it's a perfect opportunity to not only learn from, help them learn, but also teach them. You know, and, and learn from them because you see the most unorthodox stuff you've ever seen come out of these guys. So right. it's really cool. So it's really cool. I mean, if you notice these guys' nicknames, I have to point that out. Uh -huh. The White Tiger versus the Lionheart. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm a Game of Thrones fan. And I don't know, man. I, ju I just want to point out White Tiger's the gym that he trains out of. Oh, my bad. Yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> Whoopsie doozy. There it is. This is now his new nickname. White Tiger. The White Tiger. <laughs> it, it better be after this fight. The White Leopard. The, ooh. the White Leopard. Print, leopard the print. Snow Leopard. The, ooh, there you go. <laughs> Lucrative. <laughs> I, want, I want reparations on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually very disappointed in Josh for not coming out in his leopard underwear. Oh, 
one more. Whoa, look at that. Jeez Louise, he is ready. You know, it, it's, it's really uh, awesome to see the different looks on uh, fighters' faces prior to the right. initial start. Some are calm, some are, you know, scared, some are just ready to yes, rip and, somebody's head off. You know, like our first, our first fight, they were just staring at each other yeah. the, whole, the they, whole time. Neither one made a move. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was standing in the audience going, what's going on? <laughs> All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Leonard with a quick overhand right. Woo, both are exchanging overhand rights. Now the kick start by Josh. Ooh, takedown. Josh. Josh goes in for the takedown. He's got good cage control. Leonard over with Leonard. the double unders, though. Nice overhand right. Oh, oh Leonard dropped by Josh Leonard, overhand Leonard. right. Nice. Josh nice body work by job. Josh. Oh, oh, and Leonard my. returns fire. Leonard and with the left hook. Talking about. This is what we're talking there about with is. Leonard and the heart that he has. There it is. Nice tip. And look, he just moves forward nonstop. Nice there throw. There we go. There it is. Wow. There it is. And Leonard just lion harding through this. Look How at incredible. Look at this movement. Look at this head work. This is, this is from training with high-level individuals every day, day in, day out. That head there work does go. not come. Leonard doing good head movement here. Josh with the Josh, Josh with the right down. hands though, Josh trying to slow him down. down a little bit. Yeah. Well, I mean that breaks your soul when you're beating somebody up like that and they hit you with a left hook. Absolutely, absolutely. Josh with the jab though. Oh, oh and Leonard with the right again. Right. Josh with Josh the trying to take down. down. Let's see if he can get it. Leonard does a good job defending it. Josh did not grab his hands at all and see, you know, kind of went through his knees. Oh, oh, oh Uchimara with the Uchimara. Uchimara. Uchimara solid Uchimara by Leonard. And I know Manolo Hernandez drills that with his guys all the time. That's a constant takedown that we work at, at San Diego Combat Academy. Leonard, I mean, Josh has Leonard's leg, and it looks kind of off, but Josh is trying. There it goes. Oh, then there, that's right. a solid, you know, half guard right there. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Oh, Leonard's got the lockdown in. But it's hard to work the lock down with the shin guards. Especially with the difficult. shin guards, yes. Shin guards really limits your uh, abilities. So Josh should, if, if in my opinion, Josh should be passing to the full amount, but he's not. He he's, be, kinda, yeah. he's resting. Well, Leonard's doing a good job also. Is, is uh, That upper body control. Yeah, 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 controlling. Wow. That was you a know, really good round. That was a good first round, and yeah. I don't know. Who would I who 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 I would give that to? I have no idea. That would, that's a really hard one to call because both had their offensive moments. Both had each other rocked. Right. Um, Josh went for a few takedowns, but Josh really didn't have any success with the takedowns, unfortunately. Right. 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 And you know, uh, J Josh rocked Leonard. You know, and, and most fighters would have been out. The ref yeah. ran over to oh. stop it. Leonard got right back up. Leonard covered up, and I thought Josh and was that left hook get the came TKO. Out. Yeah, and yeah. he just threw that left yeah. hook. And uh, it woke Josh up. Yep. But it, that's exactly the what we were talking ring about. MVP ring girls coming out. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Let's watch this replay real quick. So here we go. Leonard Leonard overextending. He got really excited. Yeah, both of them. I mean, they're both overhand, overhand. And then this oh, Uchimata this is, this right Uchimata here. right here. Perfect Boom, Uchimata. Right on his face. Perfect Uchimata. Josh Great really, Josh really ate the canvas there. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? I, I think that Uchimata might have saved Leonard I with this so. round. You I know? believe so. Because that, that evened out the takedowns. That was yeah. one successful takedown a piece with that Uchimata. Right, right. And he, even though... And here goes Leonard. Josh looks ready. Leonard looks ready. They're both bouncing, both ready, both ready to have fun. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Oh, Leonard, Leonard's standing right in. They both need to kind of yeah. guard their face a little bit more. I'd like to see that out of both of them. Josh trying to get those underhooks. Leonard, oh. Oh, nice Leonard turn by got Josh. Double unders. Let's see what he does yep. with these double unders. Another Uchimata oh, another attempt. attempt down. Oh, good good job down. by Leonard. Full guard, though, very Josh. Careful here. Yep. Very careful. He's extending his guard. hands. Yeah, he needs to get his hands back in and elbows back in. Back inside on the body. Oh. Josh trying to work some jujitsu bottom. I, I kind of like his hip Yeah, movement. it looked like he tried to go for a little bit of rubber he, guard he there. He did a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And he's controlling that right arm, so oh, Leonard he's going to be for very an arm careful. Bar. Yep. Yeah, he's going for Josh a high is, guard here for Josh sure. Josh is definitely going kick for over. Sure. He's trying to kick his left leg over Leonard's head right now, trying to arm bar. Leonard needs to, you know, kind of stack. Push his yeah, head down. Stack, stack stay in. heavy. Stay yep. real heavy. Stay heavy and don't extend his arms. I like to see Leonard uh, kind of get more even because right now he's about to extend Leonard. And there it is. Josh just tapped Leonard. Uh, exactly what we said. He extended that arm out. 
And that's uh, all right. yeah, that's yeah. all right. I mean, it happens. It I would happens. say both of them had an amazing fight. That was an amazing show of heart by both of those fighters. That was a great, great job, great jujitsu by Josh. You know, yeah. when someone has great jujitsu like that, and you're 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 deep in a position like yeah. he was, sometimes. You, you just don't have an option. I agree. Sometimes they get the arm. Sometimes they get the finish. And that's the sport. Yeah. That's how it works. Great job by both fighters. I think both fighters had an amazing fight right there. That I mean, both had their ups. Both had their downs. But, I mean, at the end, Josh comes out with a solid arm bar. You know, and unfortunately, you know, I, I see disappointment. So, you know, and I've seen it in other fights, and I see it in this fight. You right. see the, the winner is always ecstatic. Right. And the loser's always down. Always down, you know? Yeah. But the, this is the hardest loss, type of loss to face. A lot of people don't realize that. <laughs> uh, we just got photobombed. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, security. We, security. <laughs> kick, Facebook kick, live kick, bomb. We got, we got FB bombed. <laughs> That's real now. But that, you know what? That's the thing, though, right? With this sport, with MMA. There's is, highs of highs and lows of lows. It, it's the yeah. worst low. When you lose, it's like, you know, yeah. somebody basically, you know, overpowered you. They, you know, they... They just did what they 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 overcame Their game plan you. Be yours. Yeah, you know, and you know, you can't do anything about it's it. It's something difficult to face. Nobody likes physical adversity. But I'm gonna say, Nobody does. I, you know, nothing to take away from Leonard. I mean, if you look at his head movement, if you look at his movement, you look at his coaches. Everybody was ready in that corner. Right. Everybody was ready in Josh's corner. It was just the game plan worked out better. And that's like if you see right there, Leonard had, had a perfect Uchimata, taste yeah. down. Yeah, this, this is this is that takedown from the first round. That right was that so watching. solid, solid, great job, you know. But yeah, the the thing is, is that you know the, the submission came, the submission happens, and 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 Leonard has nothing to be ashamed. Correct. of. he did a great uh, job. And yep. All right, here we go. Here's the decision. Another incredible performance. This one comes to an end at one minute and four seconds of round number two. Referee stoppage by armbar. For your winner, from White Tiger Gym, Josh Rupert Cavalio. Leonard. All right, I'm here with a very happy Josh Rupert Cavalio. Where did you get that nickname, Wolfpack, first of all? Uh, my gym, uh, I also train at 10th Planet West LA as yeah. well. 10th oh, Planet man, for Life, 10th Planet is, Family for it? sure. Right. Uh, my coach it's gave it to me. I don't really know where he got it from, but Wolfpack. he picked Wolfpack, and it was a good one. It stuck. Josh, tell us about your ever-improving ground game. Caught him in an armbar there. Deep one, the referee stopped it. Was everything going to plan for you tonight? Uh, I mean, not really. I wasn't really planning on being on my back. But uh, we stayed there. We stayed calm. And I felt him leaning up. And I knew that if he kept his arm there, I was going to be able to take it. And I did. Who would you like to thank of your family, sponsors, friends, coaches? Name it. This is your time, my brother. Oh, man. White Tiger Kung Fu, Dennis, Lair, Carlos Morales. I want to thank my family. My mom, I love my mom. Hey, mom. I love my dad, and that's my beautiful girlfriend, Carmen. I love all of them. Uh, this was for them. They really helped me do it. Got to love it, my man. Congratulations. More great things to come. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Josh Wolfpack Travaglio. Wolfpack of one. Wolfpack Travaglio. That's pretty catchy.